Hey, this is Vanessa from PilatesHealthElite.com. Today we are going to do a lovely stretching video. If you are a little bit tight in your muscles, we need to balance them out. We're busy with work, we're busy doing different things, and a lot of the time our bodies are in balance and simply just need a good stretch. So let's get into it. I'm going to do a couple of stretches um, from different arenas, Pilates, yoga, fitness, doesn't matter where they're from, but the point is they're going to help you in all the different muscle groups just to feel a little bit looser, but also build the strength. So when we're stretching out a particular muscle, the opposing muscles are actually strengthening and holding our body in place. So for instance, if we're stretching out our chest here, opening our chest, the back muscles should in fact be working as the counteractive muscles on the other side, as the opposing muscles, I should say, shoulder blades down and back. So let's start with that one. Inhale, stretch your arms apart and exhale, pull your shoulder blades down and in and squeeze your back muscles together as you open the chest. And we're going to stay there for a few breaths. Three, it's nice to close your eyes during the stretching. Two, and one, and down, good. Now bringing your hand across to the opposite knee, lifting tall and gently looking to the back. Rotating through the spine is also really important. Coming back around and to the other side. It's often our upper backs um, tend to stiffen up without that rotation just because of you know leaning over computers and um, looking at phones all the time, things like that. And centre, good. One of my favorite stretches to do for the quads and the hip flexors, which often get tight from too much sitting, is if we come into a triangle position, so one knee bent forward and then the other foot tucked back. If you stay here, start to move your hands back and then if you can, down onto the elbow. So if your knees start to lift, you've gone a bit far. So just hold it here. Wherever the stretch is for you on this leg, with the foot back, that's the one we're focusing on. So for me, it's about here. That's comfortable, I can feel it, but I'm not straining. So that's what you wanna do as well. Pushing the knees down, squeezing your glutes. Remember, two muscle groups working, stretching the front, working the back. Lift and hold. Three, two, one, and gently coming up. From there, I'm gonna take that back leg around to the side and then reach the hands forward and bring the head towards the knee. Again, go to the level that you're comfortable with. Keep gently drawing the belly in, always focusing on the core. And lift, good. Let's change the legs around the other side now. So I'll just turn for you. So bring the other leg around, start to move the hands back to the level that you're comfortable with and hold, pushing up through the hips, down through the knees, stretching through the quad and the hip flexor. Take a couple of breaths here. Good, and coming up, take that leg out to the side and then bring the hands down towards the ankle, head towards the knee. Three, two, one, and lift. Good, now we'll move into stretching out our whole body through the pyramid or downward dog stretch, whatever you'd like to call it. And coming into then a glute stretch for the hips. So we're gonna have hip, uh, hands, hip distance, sorry, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Tuck your toes, lift and stretch back, raising the hips up. Hold for three breaths. And then walk the heels up and down, focusing on the calves a little more. Great if you've been doing a lot of walking, moving, or sport, even walking in high heels, whatever it is for you. We all need to do some stretches and bring the heels down as best you can. Nice flat back. Hold for a couple more breaths. Good. And then we're going to pick up our right knee, bring the knee down in between the hands at the front to stretch out our hips and glute area. Good. Hold it there. If you want to work harder and it's okay for your body, then come down onto the elbows. Good. 
Good. Bring the hands back up. Let's change legs. So tuck the back foot, lift and stretch back. Deep breath and bring it forward. And then changing to the other side. And then down if you want to. Good. And then bringing the legs around. Bend your knees. Sitting up tall. Inhale, lift. And exhale, gently roll back. Gently curve the spine, but stay tall. And lift. And exhale, curl back. This might, might be the best way for you just to wind down at the end of the day. So use this video so that it suits you. Could be a start for the morning. But make sure you are a little bit warm when you do your stretching. Lift and curl back. Good. Now facing the front again. Rolling out your wrists. And then the other way. Rolling out our shoulders as well. And forward. Love to know how you use this video as a nice little stretch. Maybe even at the end of a workout or after one of our other Pilates videos on the channel. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the workout and the stretches and stay up to date with more of our videos free for you, of course. Okay, and one more to finish off just with the neck. Keeping your shoulders down and other side. Good. Breathe in and breathe out. Good. And just allow your body to sit here for a few more deep breaths, closing your eyes, center your energy, and we'll see you next time.